The Ministry of Labor sets the maximum working hours in the private sector during Ramadan. And what does it mean? That all people, let's be cleaner, let's be security, let's be uh, domestic workers. The maximum working hours during Ramadan is supposed to be uh, six hours. Remember, before I talked about a video whereby I talked about the, the working hours uh, as stipulated uh, during the month of Ramadan, it was supposed to be six hours. In the official treat by the Minister of Labor uh, today, we have the official maximum set hours that are supposed to be also followed by the private sector working all in the private uh, private companies. Uh, remember, when I talk about the private sectors, I, I, I talk about the security uh, guards, I talk about the cleaners, I talk about the technicians, all people that are being employed in the private sector. As per the government, yeah, per the ministry, it's supposed to be uh, six hours uh, per day. Six hours per day, that means it's supposed to be 36 hours per week. That is per the Ministry of Labor. And that is the latest tweet that we are getting from the Ministry of Labor. Remember, some companies have been violating uh, what we call the working hours, especially when it comes to uh, the month of Ramadan, especially in the private sector. And this has prompted the government to come in to intervene and stipulate it, announce it officially, such that everyone can be aware of it all. What what is comes? A lot of complaints, a lot of queries have been coming out, and people have not been paid their full dues for the Ramadan, and not being paid their actual time that they've worked for the excess hours during the month of Ramadan and this caused a lot of a lot of outcry especially people in the private sector remember also they uh, also as the minister of, of, of labor still also added that the maximum working hours uh, in the other months apart from the Ramadan uh, in the private sector is supposed to be 48 hours in a week what does it mean at that sake that if you are working uh, if you are working 48 hours per week then you are supposed to be working eight hours per day the remaining hours are calculated as overtime that is in the other months that are not ramadan the normal working hours it's supposed to be 48 hours that is per week and meaning that you're supposed to work eight hours per day that is by the speculation of what you call this uh, article 73 of katale but look it says that during the holy month of ramadan all workers in the country are supposed to work six hours in a day regardless the private sector or regardless even what you call the government sector in its own way so i'll just get through what what this uh, the tweet that was passed on by the government uh, the minister of labor to see what they had to say about about the working hours during the ramadan by the way if not subscribed to this channel please consider uh, hitting that subscribe button and also hitting that notification bell remember it's mixed from the mix creation support this channel and support this channel by hitting that notification bell to be notified when i upload a new video the ministry sets the maximum working hours in the private sector during ramadan the Minister of Labor has announced that the maximum working hours during Ramadan in the private sector are 36 hours per week, meaning it is 6 hours per day. The Ministry announced in their official Twitter handle that the provision of Article 73 of the law states that the maximum working hours during the holy month of Ramadan in the private sector is supposed to be 36 hours, which is 6 hours per day. The ministry also added in a statement, meanwhile, the maximum working hours during the remaining month of the year are 48 hours a week, and that means are 8 hours per day, meaning that the rest of the hours that anyone gets to work are outside that bracket of 36 in the Ramadan period, which is 6 hours, and 48 maximum 48 hours outside or more than during the normal working days is supposed to be overtime. That is by the ministry. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. I'll always keep on updating you about the latest development. By the way, don't, don't forget to, to click the notification bell and don't forget to give up a thumbs up if you think uh, something something's um very very something very useful out of the curtain. And let me know what you think about the video. See you again in the next video as we look at the latest updates around the group and in the Gulf region.